Hello and welcome to You So You, my name's Zoe and this is my channel all about the crafty bits and pieces I get up to and this week we're talking about pin tucks. Okay, so over the last couple of weeks you'll have seen me working on my birdie button-up shirt which is a pattern scout pattern. Now on the view that I chose to make and I put it up on the screen for you so you can see it's got this lovely pin tuck detail and not everybody's done pin tucks, I hadn't before so I thought I'd pop on and just show you how I went about doing those. Let me tell you, it is a time consuming process. It's quite straightforward, but it's time consuming. So without further ado, let's get going and take a look at how I put the pin tucks in on this shirt. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do with pin tucks is you're gonna mark them onto your fabric. So I've got notches at the top of my, my fabric and I've got the bottom of where I want the, the pin tucks sewn to marked as well. Uh, I'm actually marking mine on with chalk because I know that will come out. Uh, to use your preferred method of marking or you can work the entire pin tuck individually so work one and then measure to the next one work the next one so if you've got a fabric that you're not confident your marking tool is going to come out of that would be the way to go so i'm just putting in a dashed line which is going to be the actual folded bit of the the pin tuck I could do a solid line, I'm just doing a dotted one. Um, it's not going to ultimately make too much of a difference. And you may want to just double check that your lines are running parallel because you want them the same distance the whole way down. But if you've marked out both ends of your, your pin tuck, they're, they're likely to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to mark those all out and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so I've marked all of my pin tucks onto the front of this side of the fabric. And we're going to start at this pin tuck and work our way across to this pin tuck and pressing them all towards the centre. So the first thing we need to do once we've marked them is to fold the fabric along that first pin tuck line and press it. I'm pressing it beyond where I'm going to stitch to. And next, we're going to sew this tuck. So we're going to switch over to the machine. Okay, so I've switched to a quarter inch foot um, because I'm going to be sewing the pin tucks at a quarter of an inch. So this little guide here on the edge of my foot is going to run along the side of the pin tuck along the creased edge and that's going to ensure that my whole stitching is a quarter of an inch away from the folded edge um, and then I've got matching thread on as well. Okay so we've got the uh, first pin tuck sewn in as you can see the thread's not a perfect match but it's pretty close. So that's not going to show too much um, when wearing. And I'm going to aim to do any chop stitching on this project in the same uh, colour so that it's all tied together. So you'll also see that we've got a thread on the top of the pin tuck here. This is the top side that's going to be showing. So pushing the, we're going to be um, pressing the pin tuck that way. So I'm just going to turn over, just pull slightly on the bobbin thread and bring that through. Just want to try and get into the loop that's left from that stitch. Pull it through to the back. And then I can tie this thread off on this side.
And you could even plug them in through on this side, actually. That's probably what I'll do on the next one. To, so I can take this thread marking out. I don't need that anymore. And then we press that pin tuck towards the centre. Then we repeat the process with all the other pin tucks. So we fold it on the line that's been marked. And each successive pin tuck is going to help press the one before it in place. So we've pressed it, let's go and sew it. So we've got these two threads on the top where we've sewn our pin tuck down. I'm going to pull those through to the inside. So we're just going to put a pin underneath the last stitch there and pull up both the threads. And then we're going to tie them off. And trim the threads. And then we can press the pin tuck towards the centre because that's the direction the pattern wants us to send them. I do like to press them a little bit below where the stitch line has finished. I just feel like it gives me a nicer bottom to the pin tucks. There we have our two pin tucks in place. So the stitching will show a little bit, but not a huge amount once they're all done and pressed in because you're essentially pressing them to the stitch line. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and interesting. And if you did, you may also be interested in spending a little bit more time with me in this video here.